Did he go partying the night before? Did he have a hangover? Well, you know what's um, name? It's all of Mike, that. Mike Tyson got, gave him that, some little pack. I, I don't know what Mike was trying to do. Maybe Mike was trying to help Bud, but he gave him, when he went to that a podcast, a little, little value pack, and you know, he over there getting high every day. We got the air shrooms. Yes, sir. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Going from training basketball players and football players and dealing with them, when you talk about is that? fighting, it's, it's, it's totally different. It's totally different, right? Okay. But I've, over the years, I've mastered it. I've, right. I got it figured out now. You know what I'm saying? But it took time. So with, with working with Earl, when I first started training him, I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew how to get him in shape, but I didn't know how to make him a monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at first when I was training him, I just had him in shape. And he going off his natural talent, yeah. natural ability. And a lot of trainers won't be transparent to be real in that regard. You know, but, some people get up here, man, I know what I'm, no, 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 no. Because you got to understand what his body responds to. And I know what his body responds to because the results speak for themselves, right? So. But what were you in charge of doing? Because when I think about a box, I think about they have multiple um, trainers or coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you say making my monster, I think about somebody who's making my monster is a person who's actually teaching him the techniques, the boxing, no, no, no. and all of that. No, 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 no. That is a part of it. That's an element That's of a right. of it. So don't don't, in don't get what it twisted. Form of a monster? Are you talking about making okay, him, like endurance wise? Yeah. In fact, so so my 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 philosophy was to train his body where he was a machine. That was my, when I say making him a monster, into physically making him a machine. Mm -hmm. I don't do the boxing technique, that's not my lane. Mm -hmm. You know, Derrick James, you know, he's trained out a year last year, he's great, been with Earl before I even met him. Uh, he's phenomenal at what he do, he got a lot of great top boxers at the moment, you know what I mean? So that, you know, Derrick James was in charge and he always been at the, working on the technique and the game plan, et cetera, et cetera. But when I came in, my, my my goal was to make his body unbreakable. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That when he get punched, he don't feel it. Okay. And when he punch somebody else, that he break him. Okay, mm. here, here, here's, a, and, and the elephant is in the room, so I definitely gotta ask you about this. Mm -hmm. uh, like, coming out the other night, when me and my wife, we was over at my partner's house watching this fight. <laughs> and when we was over there, when he comes out, I'm looking at his face. Spence Jr.'s era, or will it be? And I'm looking at just his posture, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, oh, I don't know. you know, I'm trying to figure this what I'm seeing out. Yeah. And then when the when he get in the ring, I'm looking at him, but I'm still saying he don't look like the Earl Spence to me. Yeah. And this was before. And that's crazy because he and I wasn't sitting together. We were sitting, I'm sitting with the girls, he's sitting I'm with the sitting guys. With the guys. Mm -hmm. And we both felt the same, same exact thing. way. Cause mm -hmm. when we Why saw him, is that? We're like, you know what I mean? Before like, he yeah. even started fighting, I'm yeah. like, that don't look like the same Earl Spence like we normally now, see Now, let me rookie. stop, because we rookies, okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. a damn rookie, okay? Just no, 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 listen. I'm not into it like you. No, hold on, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you something real quick. Let me show you something. This is, this is, this is, it, this ain't no improv, right? Hold on. Now, what day did he fight on? He fought on Saturday, Saturday. 29th. 29th, right? Now, hold on. I want you to see something real quick. What's that date say? Hold on. What that date say? Let's say the 20th. The 20th. What the, this is a woman. This is not a man. This is a woman. What's she say? Earl need... Let me hold see. on. What's she say? Great. She say... This is a woman. Earl... Earl... From, from what I see, Earl needs you for his strength because... He is not as ripped up as he used to be when you trained him. Okay, bye. <laughs> and that's on the twentieth. That's on the twentieth. Oh, that's on the twentieth. And so that's somebody around. I received. Now she's a trainer because I trained her. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she knows what she's talking about. Cause so I, she's she a trainer. You, yeah. I, you trained her. I trained her. And I got so many calls about before what, the fight. Oh, wait before I can I can show you way more receipts on people that was like, yo, we don't. Like, he ain't looking the same, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So, me, I seen a lot of things before the fight that I didn't like. You, okay. know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But I never spoke on it publicly because if I say something, Blu-ray, I hate him. You hate he, him. Because he not training with you. How anymore. long ago did you stop training him? Well, I trained him for the Pacquiao fight. 
Okay. I tried, so that was but, that wasn't that wasn't far. Yeah, that was like two fights two before fights this before. one. So like remember, his eye had messed up. His eye had messed up. So yeah. six months ago, you stopped. No, 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 no. That was like maybe about two years. Yeah, about two years. Okay, that's what I'm trying to. So like I say, so I trained him eleven fights. Then I went three without him. Then he brought me back for Pacquiao. Then he went two without me. Okay. So why did he stop? I have no no no. Listen, I don't mind talking about it. Okay. I have no idea. Everybody, I've been, since the day, the fight, the first fight, the Mikey Garcia fight, he didn't use me. I have been getting DMs, <laughs> emails since, for, since 2018, 19, whenever we fought Mike Garcia, people asking, wondering why. What? Matter of fact, I did a video on YouTube. Nothing ever happened. I was just over his house for the, for the Super Bowl. We, we kicked it, watched the Super Bowl together. All that. Like, okay, but. Ain't nothing ever, listen, ain't nothing ever happened. It was, I guess it was just a business decision on his end. Like, he okay. just chose not to train with me okay, for whatever but, reason. But, but when you seen him come out, that's the question I had mm-hmm. for you that night. What did you think? I mean, I let's just, be real. No, no, I don't, I don't mind. When I seen him, I just felt like he wasn't conditioned. That's what I felt like. Before he even took one punch. No, yeah, for sure. Because I, I seen it in the, in the, in the uh, what's that? The, uh, the uh, media workout. That he's matching game plans and wits against somebody of your caliber. I just oh, yeah, felt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like his body one condition. And it's just my personal opinion. Somebody of your caliber. Uh, how do you feel about Matt? I mean, and, I, and I'm not a professional like you. I ain't watch it in detail, but mm-hmm. when he got hit, even in the first round. Back comes Crawford with the jab. Down goes Spence. It seemed like, oh, when he hit. Favors mm-hmm. Spence. Back mm-hmm. It didn't seem like it was the same, you know, the, the effectiveness was not there. Yeah. Am I tripping or did you see the same thing? No, of course. Every, the world seen it. No, I, I'm just saying because I don't want to try not to be no professional, but I watch yeah. a little bit. But, but I'm not but, like you, though. Well, but, but certain things are obvious. That's yeah, what it was they obvious. Say. So he, when he hit, it didn't seem like it had no effect. And when he got hit, it seemed like it was very effective. Okay, yeah. first of all, I, I said... The way in which he was boxing, to me, it'd be looking like, you know when somebody have a hangover? Oh, shit. Or a drunk? Because to me, because first time he got hit, I personally, until they did the, the replay, I thought he tripped over his foot. Mm. That's how it looked to me. Yeah. Until I saw the replay and I was like, oh, he did get hit. Mm-hmm. But that's how it looked to me. It looked like he was not... You know, the stands wasn't good, the structure, just, just, it just didn't look right to me. So that's why I felt like, okay, did he go partying the night before? Did he have a hangover? Well, you know, what's um, name? It's all of Mike, that. Mike Tyson got, gave him some little pack. I, I don't know what Mike was trying to do. Maybe Mike was trying to help Bud, but he gave him, when he went to that a podcast, a little, little value pack, and you know, he over there getting high every day. We got the air shrooms. So I don't know, but it, well, I don't. Well, me, well, I don't. Well, like I say, I, I, I haven't been in the camp in a while. So you don't know certain things. I hadn't been around them in a while. You know what I mean? Because when I was training him, we was together all the time. All day. You know what I'm saying? So you know, there's a lot of things that I, I have. You just I, won't even I, be able I, to talk. I, I can't talk about it because I'm, I'm not around like that. You but, know what I'm saying? But when you seen that. Being that you tied to him and I hurt. Hit like everybody I else. Can I hurt, bro, bro, my little boy right here, bro. Let me tell you something. My little boy, I didn't even know he watched it. My little boy got YouTube on his phone. My little boy came to me and said, bro, this is my, he right here, bro. He came to me because I had used at his mama house when the fight came on. So, you know, I went and watched the fight. And so in my head, I was like, man, I'm glad my little boy didn't see that. And bro, I put my right hand to God, bro. He came to me. He said, daddy. Why Uncle, cause he called him Uncle EJ. Yeah. He said, why Uncle EJ didn't train with you? He was like, cause daddy, he don't look the same. This is an eight year old saying this. And he was like, daddy, I can't ever watch that again. Bro, that broke my heart, bro. And it's, it's crazy because if y'all were so successful together, you would have thought that he would have, you know, uh, rocked out with you even, cause he could have had two, couldn't he? he yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, of course. You don't have to just have yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, he could have worked with me and another strength and conditioning coach. I, I, I don't have an issue with that. As long as, in my opinion, as long as they doing the things that are necessary to benefit his body and to, to make sure that he's at optimal shape, yeah, for sure. Whoa. Because everybody don't know what they're doing. Just because you got a big name don't mean you know what you're doing. Correct. A, no, Correct. Fact. Do you think that like you've done a lot of training, man, and your training is very extensive. Um, do you think it just was something that he just 
was it, was it unbearable at this time? Did you keep going? Did you pressure him so much to where he's like, man, let me get with somebody else who might know how to do it in a way to where it's not too much pressure because you might be over there putting that real pressure down. Well, you growing every time, <laughs> nigga. Like you excel. Like this time we're gonna do thirty five. You this time we're no, gonna no, do so, twenty five. So, like, so me, so what? So what happened was like when I first started trying to earl, we kind of go back to what we was talking about earlier. I started studying Bruce Lee. Okay. So I train. I studied. I studied. I studied Bruce Lee, and uh, my mentor Beast, right? Beast, and then another guy from a, a crew called the Barbarian. His name Devin Sosa. They call him Zeph Zachavelli. Like these two of the strongest dudes in the world. This this is documented, right? Mm -hmm. They they like my brothers. So I started, you know, hitting them up like, bro, like how to make somebody like super strong. Woo woo woo. And then I was studying Bruce Lee. So they gave me some advice. And what I studied from Bruce Lee, and what I did, well, I took all the information that they gave me, whipped it up, and mm -hmm. boom, and started training Earl a certain type of way. So me and Earl, what we would do was, I, I go to workout, we would do 700 push-ups uh, for our warm-up. Before he work out, we would do 700, and I worked out with Earl. So when I trained him, I worked out with him. So I, I wasn't sitting there standing on the sideline looking, no. I worked out with him to push him. You know what I'm saying? Because to work out with me, you got to be in shape shape. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.